the prayer things that disappeared. And uh, unfortunately, there weren't any markers on the river either. So it was pretty difficult to, to find the trail between there and, uh, and Brow Creek. Mm. Still blowing at that time? Uh, it wasn't too bad blowing, but the trail was completely blown over, so you really, like, uh, luckily I had that, uh, my big leader that direct. I put him in Cindy Lee and he was kind of able to, to find it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it took us forever, you know, to get to, I think it's 42 miles to Trout Creek, and it took us over seven hours. And then from there, to Slavens, uh, pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just super slow, and uh, it was still flowing pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, the trail from Slavens coming in here was good, but in 40 50 below, uh, it's nothing slight anymore, and the run was uh, like stuck to the snow. Can you talk about your um, lead on Pyrex a little bit, and his performance, and um, some, of, some of the other members of your team, and whether or not they've surprised you? Uh, surprised? Uh, well, I knew that Pyrex was a great leader. I know that I've, I've done that before with him. Uh, he has never done uh, that much uh, running in single lead and, and uh, looking for the trail. It was pretty incredible to watch. I mean, he just put his nose down on the ground and, uh, and six sack across the trail and, uh, and find the hard spot. And he never got tired of it. I mean, he was still uh, down hole coming in here, so uh, pretty incredible stuff. Um, I was also wondering if. There's been a lot of working together between teams in this race. Um, we saw a lot of teams leave Dawson together behind you guys. Um, and then um, everything that went, that transpired between you and Brent coming over at American Summit. And I was wondering if you guys were um, working together, you know, past Eagle coming into Circle. Uh, absolutely. We, uh, when we left Eagle, who was behind the princess and uh, and then Sebastian? You know. mm -hmm. I forget. No. I oh, Canon was, wasn't Sebastian, it was Canon. Was and uh, Brian took a little bit, but his team is so slow, so it didn't really work. His team is too, way too slow, so he constantly run into, into the back team, and I, I didn't want to strike the break, you know. Uh, can't ride for a little bit, his leaders were useless <laughs> all over the place, so, so I ended up uh, pretty much uh, doing it myself there for the whole thing. Uh, Brent has said that he has one incredible leader there. Uh, when uh, he pulls me over, over the summit, uh, yeah, that leader was just incredible to watch how he, uh, how he uh, just didn't, uh, that wind didn't face him. When something like that happens, um, does that sort of change it from a race to a, a group effort? Well, it's still a race, but uh, at the moment, for sure, you know, at the very moment where we really need to, to work together to get through those things, uh, uh, that will be not racing anymore. Uh, but then we get into the next checkpoint and regroup and, uh, <laughs> and the race is on again. It sounded like you weren't sure that you were going to keep moving from checkpoint to checkpoint at a certain point there. Was there a, well, was there a moment of doubt? If there was a duck right I needed, uh, I would have been out of the race for sure. But uh, scratching and eating, <laughs> it's been hard to do. You know? Can you talk about your mental toughness? I mean, you told me when you were leaving Eagle that you'd wait and see until you got to circle what you were going to do. and uh, Just watching you out in the dog yard, you were moving pretty fast. Seems like you recognize that you're back in the race. Well, I don't know if I'm back in the race, uh, if I'm what you mean, in the position, but uh, I definitely finished the race now, yeah. I got over that and uh, just uh, keep on going up. How do you feel right now? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, obviously, that uh, we were running that. Beats mushrooms and tops up. Uh, but uh, we got over it without any frostbite, so that's that's the main thing. Uh, 
just have to be very, very careful in mean, uh, 10 seconds without gals out there and uh, better get back into your mid center, better and warmer. Uh. Okay. So, what's changed your mind about um, committing to finishing the race? Well, I mean, first of all, I like to finish things when I start them, but uh, after that uh, uh, American Summit experience, I I wasn't so sure, you know, whether whether it makes any sense. You know. uh, I was pretty down there. Um, so up ahead, uh, you have Birch Creek, which um, someone referred to me as being sinister cold, and it's quite cold here in Circle right now. Um, I wonder how you are uh, planning for that. Well, I I've been in Birch Creek with 61 below Fahrenheit before, so. <laughs> It's nothing new. Uh, just prepare the same as the last one, you know, that there's no difference. It's just part of the It's just a part of the, part of the cold place. And uh, it's not so bad, uh, about 30 miles down, there's a uh, conference, you know, and you can get one yeah. up this, uh, if you need to. And, uh, I, I don't see a problem. I, I hope the trail is half decent, and it's not too slow. Um, so, after your experience on American Summit, I wonder how you um, are approaching the, uh, you know, the coming Eagle Summit, less than 100 miles from here. Uh, those summits, the uh, Eagle Summit is not that bad. Eagle Summit is just a, a you know, very, very short time up on the top. Uh, the bad thing about American Summit is it's five miles long on top, and it's just... Uh, you have to find your way through it. I mean, it, it, those are totally different mountains. Eager summer, I see, yeah, that, that, that was a challenge, obviously, you know. Even uh, if the wind was not there. You, know. you sort of sound like you're ready for it, though. I don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Just get there and see what happens. That's all my question. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, guys.